Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan and it's time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing the movie The Little Mermaid. This movie is basically a love story between a mermaid and a man. I will be getting into why that relationship works later on. But first I am going to talk about the protagonists of the movie. First though, I'm going to talk about Ariel played by Jody Benson. Now Ariel is a fucking awesome protagonist and I was rooting for her the entire time. She doesn't like the life underwater much. And to be honest, I don't blame her since she has a very strict father. But anyway, she is a fucking beautiful mermaid. And it's not just her appearance, even though her appearance is fucking beautiful. It's also her voice. Her voice is so fucking beautiful. I sympathize with her a lot and think she's overall a great protagonist. Now the next character that I would like to talk about is her father, King Triton, played by Kenneth Mars. He is an extremely shitty father. And frankly, I think he is the main villain of the movie, not Ursula. Ursula is evil, I'm not denying that. But the reason why I think that he is the main villain of the movie is because of the fact that he is overprotective and a judgmental cunt. The reason why I'm calling him a judgmental cunt is because he hates you humans. He fucking hates them with a passion. And groups all of them together are terrible. I don't think that he is a bad character overall. I mean, as a villain, he is a great one. Even though I don't support his hatred for humans at all, I kind of see where he's coming from. But again, I don't fucking support it and never will. Now I'm going to talk about Eric, played by Christopher Daniel. Barnes. He is an extremely handsome man and he also has great personality and yeah, he's also a very fucking nice guy and yeah, I loved everything about this guy. Now that I'm done telling you why I think of the three characters of the movie worth talking about the most, it's time to talk about the relationship between Ariel and Eric. Now a species other than human being in love with a human being can be fucking creepy. In fact you almost never hear about a deer or a bear being in love with a human being. But I think that it works in this movie because a mermaid isn't much different from a human being. I mean a mermaid has a hand just like human beings do. A face like human beings do. The only thing different about mermaids is that they don't have legs like humans do. But other than that, a relationship between a mermaid and a human really did make a lot of sense. And the relationship is also very fucking genuine. As for the songs, well there are a lot of great songs in this movie. So much so that it's extremely hard to decide which one of these songs is my favorite. They're all absolutely fantastic songs. As for the humor, well, there are a lot of moments in this movie that made me laugh. I do find it fucking funny how that seagull tries to talk about tools used by humans. And it's clear that he doesn't know a fucking thing about those tools and has totally the wrong information about how those tools are used. That's just hilarious. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. This is definitely one of the best love stories out there. And you know what? This is also one of my favorite animated movies. I did not say that this is one of my favorite Disney animated movies because it's one of my favorite animated movies overall so I'm gonna have to give this movie two thumbs up I fucking love it and would watch it over and over again well guys that's all I gotta say thank you for watching and have a great day